Hey everyone, this is Chrissy Thompson here uh, with Base.Academy Academy with a short tutorial on how to create a Dragonfly account or how to update your student information for the 2019-2020 year. So step one is you're going to need to go to uh, dragonflymax.com. When you get there, it should look like this page. Uh, click on the right hand side where it says log in, sign up. That should redirect you to a page that looks like this. If you have never had a Dragonfly Max account, you will need to click up sign, sign up for free. And this will take you through the process of setting up your account for the first time. Make sure you do write down what you use as your username and password as you will need to reaccess this a couple times during the year. If you have already had an account, you will need to sign back in. So I'm going to sign in um, using my email. And oops, need to go next and my password and click login. As you can see, I have my um, my child already added, but I'm going to go ahead and walk through the process of um, adding a new child for those parents that are new here to Dragonfly. So of course you will click where it says add a child. This is where you would put in your child's name. So we're going to put in John Doe. Click Next. It's going to ask you for your school code. This links your account to Bayside. And our school code is XAAP39. So just type that in the box and click Go. It's going to ask you to choose the sports that your child is interested in playing next year. And you can choose one or more than one. And I'm going to say John Doe is going to play baseball and football. And I'm going to click Add a Child. All right. As you can see, uh, here is John Doe. He's sitting here and he has 0% done. So we want to increase this. So I'm going to click on John Doe. So you're not done yet. And when I open this up, it's going to give me a little more information about John Doe. I need to scroll down to things to do for John at Bayside Academy. And I want to click on Get Started. As you can see, there are buttons on the right hand side. It says that I am not done yet. So I'm going to start at the top with update medical and demographic information for 1920. This is going to take you to a new page where you have um, some stuff to fill out. So we need to make sure all of these numbers on the top here are all gone before we click done. So let's go, go through this really quickly. I'm just going to make up some stuff. Um, we're going to, John Doe is going to resign in Fairhope, Alabama, 6.32. I'm going to have him, um, he's going to graduate in 2021, male, that means he can be an o 3 -er. and let's just say he was born, oh, let's say February, right, 21st sounds good, I'll enter my phone number and my email address. Now, if you already have an account, you can just go back into your child's account, and a lot of this will be filled in for you. Just make sure that um, all the numbers up here on the top are gone. Okay? If you've moved, you need to change your address um, and update any kind of other information that you would like us to have. Here hope again. Alabama. Alright, that should make all my red numbers go away. Now I'm going to click on the next tab, Insurance. I'm going to go Blue Cross Blue Shield. Add my policy number. Um, and, oops, I had to tap lock on, sorry. Alright, you don't have to upload a picture. That's optional if you want to do that. Looks like that's complete. Moving over to general information. Alright, so I'm just going to go through here and answer no to all these, but it is important that you go read these questions. Um, if you had a physical with us here at school, that would have happened 
in on January 24th, 2019. So you can put that in. You don't have to worry about filling out this right now. We're going to just keep scrolling down, answering questions. And again, I'm just answering no for time's sake. This one. No, 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 no. All right, scroll up to the top. Go into the next tab, heart health. Again, read through these. Answer the questions. All right. Bone and joint. A couple more questions. All right, and everything is good. I'm going to hit done. That's going to save all of your information. So I now look. I've got a green check mark. That's good. I'm going to go down to the next one. I'm going to click on it. Click fill out electronically. I'm going to need you, if you will, please read through this. Go down here in which you've read through everything. I need you to sign John Doe's name, or your child's name, and your name at the bottom, and then click Sign and Complete. And we're going to continue to do this for the rest of these little forms here. Concussion form, fill out electronically, read through the information. Scroll to the bottom, enter the signatures, sign and complete. Transportation release form. And I know you probably are thinking I've already done this, but that was for last year. Every year we do have to update these. So we need a new one. Sign and complete. Um, HIPAA. Again, go down here. All right, that should fill in all my boxes. If you have any allergies you need to worry about, medication, please type them in there. Go ahead, put your emergency contact number, and then we're going to sign and complete. All right, so that's got us with one, two, three, four, five done. All right. Now, if this is your first time being in Dragonfly, and we do not have a physical on campus, I will need a copy of that physical, and I will be able to upload this pre-participation physical evaluation form and the physical examination, but we do need an actual hard copy here on campus. So if you could drop that off to me, that would be great, and I will fill out those two. Also, birth certificate, we should have this on file here, and I will go um, upload this manually, so you don't have to worry about the birth certificate. Um, your sportsmanship certificate, this is a uh, little online short class that your, your child takes here. Um, for the first time, normally in the seventh grade, once it's done, we just keep uploading it and transferring it from year to year. If they have not taken this test, don't worry. Their coach will get with them at the beginning of the season and have them take this little um, this little test, and then I'll upload the certificate, and we'll just carry it over. So the bottom four, you don't have to worry about. I'll take care of this or contact you if I um, need this. So what I'm going to need from you is just to complete the top five. Um, and once you're done with that, that's really all I need. Um, so you can go back out to hit today, and you'll see that John Doe um, has got 56% completed. And if we had all the other forms done, it'd say 100%. And that's our goal, is to have 100% completed for your student to be able to, be, to participate uh, in sports. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. My email address is cthompson at baseoutacademy.org. My phone number here at school, 251-338-6368. I will be more than happy to walk you through this uh, process. And I appreciate your time. 
and we'll see you soon. Okay, bye.